to start, please open the Mail app, if it's not already open, and then tap the inbox so you are seeing your mail messages. Prior to iPadOS, the process of saving a message as a draft and retrieving it was cumbersome and involved many steps. But in iPadOS, the process has been simplified. Let's explore the new process by tapping the Compose New Message icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Next, type in the subject field My Sample Message. Then, tap in the body of the message and type Here are the room dimensions we spoke about. Dot, dot, dot. Now, let's say you're unable to complete this message and want to come back later to finish it. So you need to save the message as a draft. This may seem counterproductive, but in the upper left-hand corner of the message, tap Cancel. From the pop-up menu, tap the Save Draft option, and your message is now saved in the draft folder in your mail account. To quickly retrieve your draft message to resume working on it, simply tap and hold the Compose New Message icon like this. Notice your draft message is listed in the previous draft section. If you have more than one draft message, you will see them all listed here. Simply tap on the draft message to resume working on it. Pretty slick, isn't it? Now keep in mind, you can still use the Park Message feature from the previous versions of the iOS by swiping down on the handlebar at the top of your message to the bottom edge of your screen. Notice your message is now parked at the bottom of the screen, allowing you to work on other messages until you want to return back to the park message. To activate a park message, go to the bottom edge of your screen and tap on it. If more than one message is parked, you'll see the message picker appear. Just tap on the message you want to resume working on, like this. iPadOS also allows you to view two email messages at once. You learned how to do this in an earlier lesson on multitasking, but let's do a quick review. Open the first email message if you don't already have one open. Then, tap and drag another message from your inbox sidebar to the right edge of your screen and let go. And now you're viewing two messages at the same time in split view. This is so helpful when needing to reference or work on two messages at the same time. You can view copy and paste, or drag and drop items from one message to another, all without obscuring either message. How many times could you have used that in the past? I bet a bunch. To close the split view message, simply drag the center divider bar to the right edge of your screen and let go. One of the things that bothered me about using the Mail app in previous versions of the iOS is the inability to quickly select a group of messages to either move or delete them. But in iPadOS, Apple has provided users the ability to select a group of messages with just a swipe. Previous to iPadOS, you needed to tap Edit at the top of your inbox and then tap each message to select them as a group. This is really time consuming if you want to select 10 or more messages. But in iPadOS, when in Edit, you can use one finger and swipe down on the left edge radio buttons. If you continue to hold that finger down, the message list will continue to scroll and select messages until you lift your finger. This is much faster than tapping each message in a group. But there's even a faster way to select multiple messages. Using two fingers, simply swipe down the left edge of your message list. This automatically puts you into edit mode and the message list will continue to scroll and select messages until you lift your fingers. At this point, you can batch flag, move to another mailbox folder, or trash the selected messages. And because you are in edit mode, you can choose the select all option at the top left of your message list to take action on all the messages in your list. If you wish not to take actions at this time, simply tap cancel at the top of your message list. Pause the video and try selecting a range of messages using the two finger swipe gesture. Well, did you like what you just learned? If so, this is just a taste of what you will be learning and implementing in my new self-paced training program, iPadOS for Real Estate Agents. In this training, 
you'll experience similar bite-sized training videos where I'll be right there with you showing you step-by-step -step how to use all the new and enhanced features of iPad OS so you can be way more productive when using your iPad for your business and personal life. You'll be ready to put your iPad to work in ways you've never done before. And to celebrate the release of the iPad OS for Real Estate Agents Training Program, you can now purchase the entire program for just $45. This special price is only available from Friday, July 3rd through Sunday, July 5th at 10 p.m. After that, the price will increase to $79. To sign up for the course and take advantage of this limited time special pricing, simply click on the link available in the description section below. It only takes a minute or two to register, and you'll begin your training immediately. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you inside the training.